From Studio 10 in downtown, this is Talk About Topeka with your host, Chris Schultz. Everybody put your hands up in the air! Welcome to Talk About Topeka, a show where we make all of your wildest dreams come true while we talk about Topeka. I'm Chris Schultz. On tonight's episode, we'll sit down and talk with Kathy Smith, Executive Director of Arts Connect, and we'll chat with Georgiana Wong, the Executive Director of the Topeka Youth Project. So sit back, relax, unless you're watching us online while you're at work, in which case you should be ready to close us real quick if the boss walks by. Actually, we can blend into any office background. And if all else fails, just show them my charming impression of Saturday Night Live's impression of Antonio Banderas. Tonight's show is brought to you by, uh, how you say? Como se dice? Ah, yes. The WIBW channels. And it starts right now. <laughs> It never hurts to plan ahead. For instance, this show is planned down to the second, of which I have five more to introduce to our next recurring segment. Really? Really? All right, fine. Tonight's Topeka Top 10 list is the top 10 things to look forward to this summer in Topeka. Number 10, visit the parks and rec pools. Number nine, Top City Thursdays in downtown. Number eight, we know what you did last summer. Number seven, take a trip to the Rose Garden at Gage Park. Number six, sports leagues. You or the kids can sign up for a variety of leagues across Topeka. And number five, ice cream, unless the truck is driven by this guy. Number four, paddle boats at Lake Shawnee. Number three, a good reason to visit the gym. And number two, that lovely midday summer weather. Mm. And number one, if we haven't been canceled by then, watch Talk About Topeka on those cool Tuesday nights at 9.30 on my TV. We have a great show for you. Our Creatively Topeka segment is up next. I'm joined now with Kathy Smith, the Executive Director of Arts Connect. Kathy, thanks for joining us thanks in studio. Thanks for having me. Yeah. It's a pleasure. You know, Arts Connect is something that it's, it's a relatively new organization in mm -hmm. Topeka. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. Arts Connect was started back in 2006, and um, it was an initiative of the Topeka Community Foundation. Um, the foundation had spent several years researching the community to see what was needed. And what they discovered is that a, an arts organization that could bring the community together and to help elevate awareness about the arts was exactly what was needed. So, And, and here you are. How and long ago are. was that? That was in 2006. 2006. May so of 2006. You guys have been doing some good work since oh, then. You're thanks. definitely getting out there and everybody's... Uh, getting in, involved with the First Friday Art Walks. That's mm -hmm. probably one of your most notable mm -hmm. accomplishment. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows about the First Friday Art Walks. Yes. Um, pulling all kinds of galleries together. Mm -hmm. um, how did you get involved? What kind of, where did this idea come from? Well, it was um, proudly stolen from other communities who have done the exact same thing. And it was, um, it was a project that I thought, now this is something that should be fairly easy to put together and people would be excited about participating. It would be um, something that can grow over time. And in uh, October 2006, we had five participating galleries. And according to the latest map that we just published, we have over 50. That's so, amazing. I mean, yeah. that's, that's taking something that we didn't have mm -hmm. and making it something that other cities want to compete with. So uh, that's great work. Thank you. Nice and job. we couldn't have done it without... Um, a lot of places like the break room and uh, oh, downtown businesses who <laughs> say each month, yeah, we're going to do this. And hey, you know, so, have you found that a lot of the, the people downtown, it's mm -hmm. it, the people you're talking to are the owners of the businesses. Mm -hmm. They're taking the chances on things. Yeah. Um, are there a lot of, are there, are there chain places that want to get in on the first Friday art walk or like, I mean, is it mainly just people that are community minded? Or? It's usually people who are community minded, local entrepreneurs, people who have their own shop, people who have their own restaurant 
restaurants who think that this is a fun thing to do. I haven't actually had anyone from a chain anything who's, who's called. So, well, this is well, great. This is this mm -hmm. is uh, organically Topeka, it right? It's organically Topeka. <laughs> That's a great way to put it. <laughs> so, so what's on the uh, the horizons for Arts Connect? Uh, in the immediate future, we have the next uh, annual Artie Awards, which is something we started in 2011. And cool. um, we recognize all of the great people in our creative community. So uh, cool. that's in April. So that's very soon. Coming, yep, right around very the corner. Very soon. And, um, of course, the Artie Party will be in the fall, which is our annual fundraiser. A lot of fun. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Are you guys doing it again downtown this year? Is that... Uh, you know, we're going to look for a different spot just because we've had it downtown for mm -hmm. two years. The mm -hmm. first year was in College Hill. Yeah. So, um, you know, we're looking for a new spot. We have some ideas. We'll be anxiously awaiting where that's going to be. <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, what's on the, hege uh, the agenda for you? What are you doing now with uh, Arts Connect? Well, right now we're uh, we've got several things in the fire, and one of the things that we are working on is a future plan, and that will include what are some of the things that we can do for the community arts organizations that might be missing. What are some of the components that we need to fill? And uh, so that's that's our biggest project coming up. Very cool. Very mm -hmm. cool. Well, I think it's amazing that Arts Connect has has kind of Again, it was stolen from other communities, but we've become better than other communities because of it. And I think that's really awesome. Thank you. Um, and you're very dedicated to that. Yes. And, and thank you so oh. much. I don't know how many times anybody ever says that. But, oh, well, you know, thanks. Thank you. Oh, yeah. you're welcome. It's my pleasure. <laughs> it's definitely a, a labor of love. You can it tell is. with uh, everything mm -hmm. that you've done and as fast as it's happened. So. Yes. yes. Uh, thank you. Sure. Um, you know, I can't let you go, though, <laughs> until we do our lightning round, Let's folks. Let's hear it. It's the lightning round. Okay. I've got uh, 10 questions here. We've okay. got 60 seconds on the clock. We're going to try and answer all of them in that amount of time. Okay. You just throw off the answer that pops off your head as quickly as possible. Okay. Ready? we got Ready. 60 seconds on the clock. And roll it. Are you a night owl or an early bird? Early bird. All right. Uh, what's your favorite color? Blue. Good. Pick a number between 1 and 100. 57. Yes. All right. <laughs> uh, would, would you rather have a million dollars or a pet rhino? A million dollars. All right. <laughs> In your opinion, what was the greatest movie ever made? Oh, Out of Africa. Out of Africa, all right. If you could bring back a dead celebrity to life uh, mm -hmm. and ask them one question, who would it be and what would you ask? I would bring back Charles Dickens, and I would want to talk to him about his childhood, which he didn't discuss very much. So oh, I, I would love to hear a little that. bit more about that. That'd be cool. Uh, what's your favorite kind of food? Oh, yes. <laughs> all of the above. <laughs> <laughs> Where would we likely run into you on an evening out on the town? Out on the town doesn't happen for me very often. I have three kids, and so usually if I'm out, it's in my car. All right. And what's your favorite TV show to watch Tuesday nights at 930 on my TV? Talk about Topeka with Chris Schultz. All right. Hey, Kathy. <laughs> thank you so much. Keep up the great work and, oh, and keep coming back and updating us on what's going on with Arts Connect. I will. Thanks for having me. Thank you. You're welcome to come back anytime. Thank okay. You. You know, things have been going pretty well for us here at TalkAboutTopeka.com. The tens and tens of dollars have been rolling in from our stories. And they've been going so well that we've been able to put together the money for about a half pack of cigarettes a week to hire a new reporter. We've been having all kinds of audition tapes roll into us. Here's our very first one from a guy named uh, Nick. Uh, go ahead and uh, let's check in with Nick. Put it in the right file according to alphabetical order. You know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z! Huh? And our uh, next audition tape is a guy named Waldo. Uh, let's go to him. Uh, we got to the scene and I totally lost him. I was like, where is he? Check it out. Oh, there he is. He's over there. Oh, well, maybe we'll have more on that later.
before we get to our next guest, we'd like to check in with some breaking news with our reporter, Waldo, who's on the street. I was actually looking for my books. Well, I gotta say, I'm a little offended. I know it's not your fault, but you know, if I'm world famous and I'm not even in Walmart, well, Dr. Seuss is here, him and I go way back. Georgiana Wong. She's the executive director of the Topeka Youth Project. George, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Hey, tell us a little bit about the Topeka Youth Project. Okay, Topeka Youth Project was established in 1983. We're on the corner of 11th Gage. Uh, it used to be the old carriage house. That's so a it was cool part building. of Miniger's. It is very cool. And then five years ago, we sat down with the board and decided we shouldn't be homeowners and we sold the building. Oh. And so Stan Peterson owns it. We lease the bottom level, and we're planning on continuing, even though there's a for sale sign out front. Cool. Uh, three programs. Jobs for Young Adults is the flagship. Then we have the Mayor's Youth Council, and then we have the Youth Court. And so we work with only teenage population. Uh, we're the only agency, to my knowledge, that just works strictly teenage. So they keep you hopping. Yeah, I bet so. They do. The, so the, uh, the jobs, let's go, go over the programs okay. a little bit. The jobs for young adults, uh, what, is, what does that do? Well, it's a 28 to 32 hour workshop. We enroll 16 to 20 year olds and they go through, they spend two Saturdays and then Monday through Thursday, 345 to 545 for two weeks out of their time mm -hmm. to learn how to be a good employee. So it covers decision making, problem solving, all the things that young people need, the life skills that they need, and the soft skills to make them good employees, but at the same time, it's also drug alcohol prevention. Mm -hmm. Because if they've got a goal, they've got a job, then they're less likely to use. So the program covers uh, a wide area across the community. We work with a very diversified group. Mm -hmm. So we can go from very low poverty level up to moderate plus incomes. And um, then we have various funding uh, sources. The city of Topeka has been very good to us. Mm -hmm. We get some money from Shawnee County and then large corporations also kick in for mm -hmm. the, that particular program. And it's 85% of what the Topeka Youth Project does. Wow. And then wow. the um, Mayor's Youth Council works with um, area high school students and they can meet with the mayor and the council to talk about what kids need in Topeka. Mm -hmm. And uh, like when the hoodies thing came up. Yeah. Well, I bet he got an earful. Oh, yes, we did. <laughs> and it was, we need to go talk to them about this. <laughs> and so I think that's on their agenda to address yeah. the problems with hoodies and the non-problems with the hoodies. So sure, there's sure. a lot of kids upset about that. And then um, they also oversee the youth court. And the youth court is operated by all teenagers. Oh. They're the judge, they're the two attorneys, the prosecutor, defense, bailiffs, clerks, and the jurors. Cool. City sends us tickets in county, first time traffic offenders, and the young people take responsibility. They go to court and they get to take the stand and then the jury decides their sanctions. So they cool. have to do community service work uh, some of them have to write essays, some of them have to get their grades up, and then they have to serve as jurors on future trials. Cool. And then the ticket is uh, taken away, and their insurance doesn't go up, so mom and dad are happy. That's always a plus. It's that. a very big plus. <laughs> and you know, to see a parent write a check for a ticket oh, yeah. versus see the young person pay, there's a $75 uh, youth court fee, mm -hmm. pay that themselves, and then have to get out and do the work. Mm -hmm. It reminds them of what that ticket was about. Yeah. And it's a very good deterrent for yeah. the second ticket. So that program's been going eight years. We'll be celebrating our ninth year in September. Very good, very good. You know, you've got some really important work to do. I know I had a job when I was 14 years old. And I, I think teaching people, young people, the way to have a job, the way to get a job, right. uh, you know, that whole process is something that when the economy has tanked, yes. I mean, it, 
they need that. Isn't edge. that a little more difficult for a kid to get a job? Yes, it is. I mean, it, the minimum wage has gone right. up, and and that was the biggest thing when the minimum wage went up. Really? Because then it was kind of, oh, we hate to pay a quote kid seven twenty five an hour, yeah. and now that everybody's kind of adjusted to it, so it's not that big of a deal. Sure. But there for a while, if we're going to do that, we'll hire eighteen year olds. We'll hire college. Yeah. And some of the employers bump to eighteen. Yeah. Uh, versus the 16 year old but you're right yeah. and you know our goal with them is of course to help them get it but it's more keeping it yeah so we do follow-up for six months with the employer and we've put through 5,000 kids oh, wow. and we have over 200 employers we work with and we're very particular about the employers we get a lot of information on them and we want to make sure they put education first cool. so they're not having the kids close at 11 o'clock at night and then having them fall asleep in school the next day. Sure, sure. So most of our employers will ask them how their grades are and um, encourage them to keep them up. Cool. So I'm real pleased with the employers that we're working with. That's very cool. You guys have a great a great little thing going for you. We do, we do. Is it, so what brought you to Topeka oh, Youth Project? Gosh. Like, where, where were you from? I'm from Topeka, and um, I started out in my work history with Santa Fe. Okay. And um, got married, and, and he went to Vietnam, and so I went to Emporia State for a while and then came back and um, got with the Department of Labor doing the same thing but with adults. Oh. And so when Topeka Youth Project was established, they came to me and asked me would I consider working with teenagers and bringing the program to them. So I took that program and brought it on over to the Youth Project and uh, found the kids were much easier than chronically unemployed adults. <laughs> so, I bet so. <laughs> yeah. And they keep me hip. <laughs> I mean, I can talk, I can talk slang with the best of them, and you know smack all the new the kids. Uh, oh, yeah. iPod. Uh, yes, uh, yes, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yes. You know it all, and I know what programs to watch and what's cool, what's not cool, and I say groovy a lot. And um, I was a hippie in my my days, so they're real cool with that, <laughs> and they want to know more about that. So I'm always groovy in them, and they go groovy, you know. So, I'll yeah. tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, she's one of the hippest <laughs> ladies in Topeka right here, George yep. Wong. Thank you thank so much you for so joining much. us. I appreciate it. Of course, I can't let you go until we do the lightning round. All the right. The big lightning round where I ask you some questions. Oh, we'll dear. Put 60 seconds on the clock, and you give me the first answer that pops okay. into your head. Are we ready? 60 seconds on the clock, and let's roll it. Are you a night owl or an early bird? Early bird. All right. What's your favorite color? Blue. Pick a number between 1 and 100. 50. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> would you rather have $1 million or a pet rhino? The pet rhino. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. In your opinion, what was the greatest movie ever made? Ooh, geez. Godfather. All right. If you could bring back a dead celebrity to life and ask them one question, who would it be? What question would you ask? Elvis Presley and why'd you get so fat? All right. <laughs> and what's your favorite kind of food? Uh, I better say Chinese since I'm Wong. All right. Okay. Good. Where would we likely run into you on a night out on the town? Probably a theater. All right. Very good. What is your favorite television show that airs at 9.30 Tuesday nights on my TV? Talk about Topeka with Chris. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, George. I yes, really appreciate you. it. No problem. Come back and tell us all about what's happening at the Topeka Youth Project. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. We've all seen The Schultz Show, but we've never seen anything like what they have planned this April. It's The Schultz Show Live 3D Spectacular. Okay, so we've been flooded with a lot of emails about our next case. Yes, there are a lot of people out there with the thought that there is uh, nothing to do in Topeka. So we're going to find out if that's true. But first, we have to do some research. All right, first you go to www.com. And look right there, it's the Topeka newsletter. You give them a little information, then twice a month, you'll get emails packed with stuff to do in Topeka. Oh, look, there are some great events and some fantastic places to visit. Well, there you have it. There are things to do in Topeka. And all you have to do is go to the Topeka newsletter.
big thanks to Kathy Smith from Arts Connect and Georgiana Wong from the Topeka Youth Project. Thanks so much for joining us on TalkAboutTopeka.com. This episode was sponsored by the WIBW channels. Over one billion served. We want you to talk about Topeka. Make your own video on YouTube, less than a minute long, and send it to us on our website at TalkAboutTopeka.com. If it's more interesting than watching the car in front of you at the automatic car wash, we might just put it on our show. We can also read what you've sent us on Facebook and Twitter. In fact, let's check the tweet box right now. Oh. Send in those tweets and those messages on Facebook. For a complete listing of events in the capital city, sign up for the Topeka newsletter on our website. Good night to all of our viewers. I'm Chris Schultz. Until next time, which would be next Tuesday night at 9.30 on my TV, keep talking about Topeka. What is your favorite television show to watch at 9.30 on Tuesday nights on my TV? Kim Schultz. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> Chris Schultz. <laughs> read the screen. Read the screen. Oh, talk yes. about Topeka. He's pointing to it. Talk about Topeka with Chris Schultz. Yes. Yes. That's, Thank that's you. That's my most favorite. <laughs> no, talk about Kim Schultz with Chris Schultz. Oh, no, you can't talk about her. <laughs> Thank you very do much, we, George. Do we want to redo the lightning? <laughs> uh, it's kind of funny. <laughs> Do yes. you want to redo that one? Kim Schultz. <laughs> As I'm looking at let's, Chris. Let's redo it for yeah. you. Yeah, okay. let's give me a, let's give Chris a break. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> and it's called what? Topeka? Talk about Talk Topeka. Talk about Topeka, gotcha. Yes. See, that looked my, like my logo. That's oh, yeah. why I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> the Topeka Youth Project? <laughs> <laughs> it's Topeka. <laughs>